Hey guys, so I'm just going to put this in at the start of the video real quick. I want to thank you all so much for the warm welcome of my return. It's been great reading your comments and stuff. And you know, I know, I know it's been three to four years, but it's been way better of a response than I expected. People that have been around since back in FM16 and probably you know, beyond that, 15 and 14 when I was uploading. So I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for that. And yeah, just let you get on with the video now. What's up YouTube? I'm just another guy and welcome back to my story. So Gaylang International, first game in charge, been here a day, not too much has happened, uh, to be honest. I've uh, approached a lot of staff members to sign, you know, boost that, you know, I needed some scouts and physios and all of that jazz. So that's been the main bulk of what I've done off screen. Also offered a few people contracts, trialed in a load of players. If I show you, for example, all of these lads are in on trial. Um, we're trying to sign a left back. Before the transfer window closed, preferably as well, I will also get myself a right back, but that is dependent upon who I can find. Currently, Ashraf Razali is looking like the best one, which isn't very good. So, you know, th things are still up in the air in the transfer wise. We've still got a couple of days to get all these things sorted. But yeah, I have actually offered, um, I think it's this guy, yes, Ali Hudzat. Oh god. Uh, anyway, I've offered Ali a contract. I'll figure out the surname afterwards. We'll roll onto the game. But yeah, you just um, I, I might not even sign him. I've offered him a contract. I might delay it until I make sure I get myself a right back because if I don't get myself a right back, there's no real point of getting a left back because I'll have to play three at the back all season. So yeah, into team selection and into the tactic. So we're playing Ballister first of all. I don't actually know where Ballister are in the league. They are seventh, so a fairly. Easy game to start off with at home against the team. They are in slightly better form than us. We have drawn to them already this season, but we'll see how that goes. As you see, the preferred formation is 3-5-2. I've actually changed that up to a 3-4-3. Just because we have so many quality strikers in this team. At least quality in comparative to the league. Uh, Palmer, Siberian, and Samion are all players that have performed really well. Got goals. As you can see, Siberian is not really getting the game time. So we're going to just go with three up top, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll be honest with you, I've never played 3-4-3 or 3-5-2. I normally like wing backs or full backs or something. So this is a very new formation for me. I'm not really sure how I wanted to... I didn't really know how I wanted to line up. Didn't know what the mentality I wanted to be. Didn't know, don't really know how to pronounce, how to approach this tactic. But this is somewhat part of the challenge. I haven't been able to come in and build the team I want to be. I want, you know, I can't play four at the back or five at the back, so I'm going to have to, you know, roll with the punches, see how it goes. Also, got two of my first choice centre backs out, so it means Saf Dari and Arif are all come in to play centre back. So these aren't my ideal back three either, which adds another spanner to the works. So uh, actually, can we? Hmm, who's better? Yeah, we'll do this. So yeah, we're not, I'm not even too sure what's going on. The keeper situation is a mess. Our first choice keeper was averaging a 6.29, so I've dropped him straight away. That backup keeper isn't much better. Our third choice keeper is a 16-year-old, so it's the, the defense is the big worry for me at this team. Midfield and attacking-wise, I'm somewhat okay with. Ideally, you know, people like Van who Rizen would be pushed further up the pitch. Even Mishwan could be pushed further up the pitch. There's there's a making of a team in here that could play some decent formations. For now, I'm going to have to go with this. I've decided to go with a cautious mentality just because, well, I'm not really, I'm not really too sure what mentality. I might go, you know, I'll go positive just because the intensity goes through the roof, but I'll give it a go. We'll see how it, I, I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce, pronounce, uh, approach this tactic. It's so alien to me. It's something I would never do. So I've decided to go more direct passing, higher tempo, play through the middle, fairly wide attacking width. Uh, the idea is to kind of pump the ball along, get it into Palmer. Palmer plays it on to uh, Seberin and Salomon, uh, sorry, Samian to sort of run on. So basically Palmer will drop to the hole, into here. These two will either push out wide to create the balls into Palmer or Palmer will drop deep. Them two will become more central and it will somewhat become a 3-4-1-2 or, you know, a 3 4 Three with the two wide strikers moving out wide to float into the space. Um, I'm kind of wondering, do I want to hit early crosses on? These guys, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I've got take long kicks on because I want the ball to be pumped long. Try and get it into the attacking third as soon as possible. I've also got counter press and counter attack. And the reason for that is because I'm playing a much higher line. 
much higher line of engagement. I want to use the offside trap, make sure I prevent short distribution. I want urgent pressing and I also want to get stuck in. Could even bundle up to much urgent. I do extremely urgent pressing as well. So you see, they're very alien to it. They're not very familiar with this tactic. But it's, it's what I'm going to go with. Palmer's going to be our central f central point of the attacking part of the pitch. I think our midfield is going to be very important too. Alpin and Maguire are two of the better players in our team. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know if this is necessarily the best approach. It, 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 you know, I'll give it the first few games so how it goes. Hi, like I said, ideally I will get in a left back and a right back. I can go four at the back. And that way I could go a 4-4-2. And it would mean, you know, we're not playing all of our strikers. We've got about, what is it, six, six or seven, six senior strikers at the team. So two up top still isn't going to be able to use all of them. Maybe try and get one or two of them out the side. But... The way we're going right now, I, I don't know if we're going to find that right back that we want. And therefore, I'm not sure. Because even if we do get a you know, left back and a right back, we're going to have no backup for them. So we could find ourselves playing this formation fairly consistently or fairly regularly anyway. So team talk wise, I am going to let the assistant do it just because he's got slightly better motivation than I do. I did do the introduction team meeting literally just before this game. It was the same day. It didn't go too well. I said, let's push for top half the table. We are in second. I think that's somewhat ambitious. They didn't take that too well. I said, all right, let's knock it down to mid table. Again, they didn't take that too well. They thought it was too ambitious. So clearly the mentality in the squad isn't too good. They don't see themselves as particularly great players. Hopefully I can get them playing well and give them some self-belief and the confidence that they need so oh god all of these things popping up let's play the game so i've got extended highlights slightly faster play direct or camera angle please feel free to mention if you want to change that or if you have any different preferences i do prefer 3d i just gotta make sure the frames are decent which i think they are so you'll get a solid 60 and yeah first 10 minutes it's been quiet nothing's happened no shots at all of any short so can't really say the formation's working we are getting a lot of the ball that is good we have had the first shot of the game again nothing crazy has happened i'm just going to do a little shout of encouragement to the players first game in want to try and get them playing well a rift with the yellow hopefully doesn't give away we're still doing well we've got get stuck in extreme pressing so we could find our center backs getting booked fairly often we'll have to see how that one goes set my code of conduct do nothing out of the ordinary a few tinkers here and there as oh no they've got through it's offside the offside traps worked there heart went for a second thought i was about to concede my first ever goal Maguire plays it back we don't really want to be going back we want to go long lads more direct passing no that's not great oh we've got it out wide to Samon Samion whatever his name is oh should have scored there really should have scored through i stopped commentating and started watching i'm gonna have to get used to these names pronunciation of less than comment oh no what what happened where was the defense i think we gonna have to look at my defensive set pieces because what happened there there was literally no one back high line of engagement good save from the keep or well, over dramatic save from the keeps but he's, he's at least he's held on to it i've got a good away following as well all right, big ball forward. He's found the wing. Get it in there to Palmer. Oh, far post instead. Sammy on with the goal. Amy. That's a, that's a hell of a first name. Amy Sammy on with the goal. It worked exactly how I wanted it to. Finding one striker, move out wide, come what, so, becoming a somewhat winger. Plays it in. Far post. We've outnumbered them. Amy Recha. Sammy on with the goal. Fantastic. 1-0 lead. Not been too bad. I've, I've been a bit disappointed with how we've let them get in behind a few times. But we're playing a high line. It's probably going to happen once or twice. And a high line to engagement. See, they're going to get in behind again here and it's wider than Mark. <laughs> right now we're living off the, the fact that they are not good finishers of the ball at this level of football. As we've got a boot ball forward, play it across. Oh, I should have played it across, but still that's a so close. Just trickles past the post. Corner in isn't good. We've got a lot of... Um, actually, I don't know what the height of our team is. That's something to look at. I think we've got a fair bit of height. We've got three centre-backs, three strikers on the pitch. I know Palmer must have a bit of height of him, considering he is a target man. Didn't really talk about the player role, so let's do that now as I hand this over to the assistant again. Uh, we'll have a little look, talk through the player roles. So, centre-backs got two covering in the defence. Defence, um, defensive role in the middle. I think that makes sense. The idea of the covering is to sort of move out wide, sort of cover anything. The defender is to engage... We'll see how that goes. That could easily change throughout time. Winger support, 
just basically using what they're good at. We could play inverted wingers, but I'm happy with a winger support on the side. It was considering a defensive winger, which they can both do with equal comfortability as an actual winger, but yes, yeah, sorry about this, guys. A big accident happened in the recording. The wire actually fell out the back of my microphone. There's obviously going to be an adjustment period <laughs> coming back into YouTube. Obviously, I'm talking about the player roles here, uh, so I'll try and do my best to, you know, make up what I was saying post-commentary. So, uh, deep line playmaker for Applin, just because he's an advanced player maker normally, he should actually be an attacking midfielder. I'm dropping him back, so I want him to be the ball playing defender, a ball player, sorry, midfielder of the two. Barry Maguire, I do actually playing a more sort of ball winning role than anything else. Now, I know he's got some great sort of creative ability, but because I want to play these two as my best midfielders, I've got to try and make them complement one another. So that's why he's playing the ball winning midfielder. Palmer is obviously our target man. He's fucking massive. Uh, I changed this, uh, changed the formation there actually to try and complement that. So we distribute to the target man, and Samion, who's a poacher, five foot seven, and Seberian Seber is a six foot two striker. So a fair bit of height up front. Afriv as well, six foot in defence. We've got a lot of height in our team. Another six foot centre back there in Ikawa, and I probably said that wrong. And a five foot eleven. So we've got a lot of height in this team. Once you include the two strikers that are over six foot three, and then the three centre backs who are all nearly six foot. So. That was the thinking there. On to the start of this second half. Don't worry, guys. You don't have to deal with post-commentary for the whole of this game. Just most of this second half. So, starts with a pretty nothing highlight. Uh, as you can see, Ablin is injured there. 67%. Uh, so, that would be something that I hopefully would have kept an eye on. <laughs> I don't actually remember. Uh, yeah, so nothing really happened in this second half. 58th minute. We finally get our first highlight of the game. It's crossed away across the box and finds absolutely no one. Samian's ball into the box. Can't find either of the six foot plus strikers. So clearly not the best ball. But then again, they were both at the far post. Not great positioning from then. Losing the ball a bit here. Trying to win it back in the center of the park. Can't really do it. Big ball over the top. And they are through on goal there. One on one. Blaze it well over the bar. That is <laughs> a weakness in our obviously formation playing such a high line we're going to allow them balls over the top to come in if they can time them correctly and you saw our center back there Arif as well trying to engage in the midfield so uh, trying to engage the striker pushing up to him and it meant there was a bigger gap for him to run in behind so we are going to take the injured Applin off with a slight knock that he has we're going to bring on Kasman play him in the center mid supportive role so again we're not going to put Barry Maguire in that creative role but we're going to try and make Kasman who isn't as good a midfielder as Barry Maguire play him in his more capable role because how good Maguire is he should be able to play these maybe not optimal roles but at least roles that you know or at least you know not optimal roles but like I say best we can do in this situation is should be able to play them better than if we put Kazman in them roles for example so I was thinking about making another sub but I've kind of pushed it off you see no one's really playing too poorly um I do end up making a sub though we're going to talk about we're going to think about changing the striker Palmer isn't playing particularly well so I'm looking for a sort of player that can come on and replace him not really going to do that so we're going to put Seber Seberin in that target man role because he is such a, a unit physically and then we um or do I end up doing that no, I end up just keeping Palmer on as a tight man attack. Fuck me. What? <laughs> I think I just went through what I was probably thinking in the moment because I had, I, I even, I don't know right now what I'm doing. I, I'm surprised I haven't taken Palmer off. He's not played particularly well, but obviously one of our better players. We're going to make one more sub here. We're going to bring Frazen on, Farhan, sorry, on for Van Huzen on the right side of midfield. You can see Farhan is an attacking midfielder or a striker. So we're kind of forced him to playing in an unnatural position here off right midfield. We're also going to, do a little no i don't think we do a shout actually uh because we're one nil up and it's kind of in that awkward situation where you don't want to tell your team to push forward i don't really need them to tighten up too much we are dominating the game we do end up making that striker change i think yeah so we do put server in, in the attack i knew we did that eventually and we bring taron darren tet on as another poacher so we're gonna have two poachers feeding off of a target man support uh, again, kind of that principle I talked at the start of the game where the target man will kind of drop deep and allow the two poachers kind of fill in the gap that he should hopefully create further back on the pitch. Pause the game there for no apparent reason. It's a shocking goal kick. We do win the ball at the halfway line. Ball over the top. Samion has run out wide. Not a bad crossing. That's a decent opportunity from us there. We should have ideally scored from that. And now look at that. They had four people on three there. They really should have run with the ball a bit more. But they decided to do whatever the hell that cross pass was. So the ball's going out of play. And that's where I leave you with a post-commentary. Get back to the live one. Uh, so yeah, sorry about this loss of audio. I do make some tactical changes as well. Sorry about that, guys. Microphone cut off. I'm not actually sure how much of it was cut off. But we're into the last few minutes of the game now. 
the last minute of the game. We have a throw in deep in their half. We've gone into some time wasting. And let's see how this goes. I think we've just nicked our first win of the season. Might get a second goal here. No. Maybe having... Mm, might have to, I, I still think this, this formation is a very work in progress thing. But we've won our first game. We've beaten Ballister 1-0. Our centre-back actually got man of the match. And there are, there were glimmers here. We let them through way too many times. We're going to go into the, we're just going to give this to the assistant. We let them through way too many times, obviously, but that's a risk that uh that comes with this um this formation obviously. We're playing a very high line. Now, going forward, I might have to I want these to stay wider, I think. I'm not too sure. We'll we'll have I'll have a look about. I'll have a look at it. Because obviously it's still very early days. Um, it's only going to be the one game today, but yeah, it's still very early days. We've we've seen glimmers of of you know how you know of what this formation can do. Now, if we have our better centre backs in, does the team play better? Who knows? But I still would ideally go to a four at the back formation. A four four two, I think, could easily work in this league. We have the players to play that formation. We have a target man or a couple of target men. We have a good poacher, a few good poachers. It's um, I think it's it's interesting. But where that leaves us at the end of the end of the game is we are currently seven points off DPMM. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a new champion anyway of the league. Or at least right now, it's still very early days. But yeah, we're still five points off DPMM or seven points off DPMM. We're still the to closest contenders to them. We have a game in hand on Tampins behind us who we have a three points gap advantage already so when our gaming hand we have put ourselves in a good situation we've got warriors coming up before we go into a league cup league thing i believe so i think first of all it goes into a league stage then the winners of the league stage go into the knockouts or something along them lines so what i will do is i will give myself the warriors game i will give myself the end of the transfer window and then i'll come back to you for the first league cup game and we'll see how the formation has evolved over that course of a game and well, it's going to be actually near enough a 20-day gap before I see you. So, things will have changed. Hopefully, we'll find ourselves playing a little better by then as well. So, until next time, guys, peace out.